Hello everyone and welcome back. This is Doc Ed Padama and this time we are going to talk about the Likert scale, specifically the pros, the cons, the uh, scale examples and how you interpret these results taken from the use of this four point Likert scale. Again, the coverage of our video discussion for today will include the pros, the cons, scale examples where you can use this uh, four point Likert scale and how you can interpret the results that you were able to gather using this four point Likert scale. Before we continue, again, I would like to invite you to please subscribe to my YouTube channel at Doc Ed Padama and click that notification bell to alert you when a new video has been uploaded. If you have already subscribed, click the like button for this video. Thank you very much. And now we go on to our discussion for today. The definitions are already presented here in the screen. So we are going to use this for uh, our guide during our discussion. So four-point Likert scale is basically a forced Likert scale. Why is it called a forced Likert scale? It is forced because um, compared to a five-point Likert scale, five-point Likert scale, there is what we call a neutral choice. While when you use the four-point Likert scale, the, the respondent will not have any choice but to present the, his or her answer. That's why this is called a forced Likert scale. The reason it is named as such is that the user is forced to form an opinion. So this is what we were discussing earlier. There is no safe or neutral opinion compared to a 5-point Likert scale. Usually, the neutral point is in the middle part. So ideally, a good scale for market researchers, this is ideally a good scale for market researchers. They make use of 4-point scale to get specific responses but again aside from having these pros there are also cons or negative sides of using this four point Likert scale so the pros the positive side of using this four point scale are the following so the first one in certain cases or specific cases in which specific user opinion is essential the four point scale is the most ideal Okay, so the pro or positive side of the use of the four-point Likert scale is that if you are seeking for a specific opinion, a specific answer without using the neutral, the neutral point or the neutral choice, this four-point scale is the most ideal. Another pro or positive about the use of the four-point Likert scale is that it is best for recording opinions on service services products which the user has used or experienced because again the respondent is forced to uh, enter their opinion on this specific type of uh, scale the third pro is that usually Likert scales are odd numbers usually it is five or seven five point or seven point scales it provides an exception to the rule so aside from using the five point or seven point scale this is another option that they can use for these specific areas of researches now four point likert scale examples four point likert scale examples include four point scale for frequency with opinions like if you're using frequency never rarely often every time a four point scale example for agreement with options ranging from so if you, if your research is about agreement using this four point likert scale you can use the following responses strongly disagree agree and so on so forth a four point likert scale example for satisfaction can also use the following responses between strongly satisfied and dissatisfied so all you need to do is to form these uh, responses and make it four point okay now the four point Likert scale examples like for frequency you can use the following responses never rarely often every time so for 
a research that requires uh, responses related to frequency. Example of that uh, specific question is how often do you require customer care? Okay, never, rarely, often, every time. Okay, so these are example of these responses. Another example for a four-point Likert scale, this time for satisfaction, the two sides of satisfaction which is satisfied and dissatisfied will be interlinked with one with ad, with other options without neutral options so again this is what we have mentioned earlier uh, you are going to create options or responses without or eliminating the neutral point so related to research uh, that requires responses for satisfaction or looking for responses related to satisfaction, you have satisfied, very satisfied, dissatisfied, very dissatisfied. With a specific question, how satisfied are you with the quality of our products? So again, you remember earlier that uh, this particular four-point Likert scale are most uh, effective and relevant to marketing and businesses. Okay, so these are our examples. And we have already discussed the pros of using this four-point Likert scale. Now, to continue, the cons or negative side of using this four-point Likert scale. A four-point Likert scale is observed to distort the results of the research. Why? Because the respondents are forced. They are forced to answer. Even if they cannot, uh, they cannot uh, decide whether it's a positive or negative response and they would like to answer neutral because neutral is not here, then it is perceived that the, the result would be distorted. Okay? The next one, a four-point Likert scale forces a choice. Forces a choice. That's why it is distorted when a respondent has no opinion. So this is the... This uh, explanation that we gave on the first con of this discussion. A five-point Likert scale data is more accurate than a four-point data or four-point Likert scale response, okay? Because of the reasons that we have already provided. Another is respondents might not answer at all. So instead of just taking an answer or checking an answer, the respondents might not answer because their option, their opinion uh, is not represented in the scale. Because if their opinion is neutral and there is neutral, therefore they would opt or choose not to answer at all. So in many cases, it is preferable to know that they were neutral rather than having them not answer the question at all. So instead of not answering it is more preferable that they tick neutral if you are using a five point likert scale okay so all of these cons are related to each other now how do you interpret a four point likert scale to interpret a four point likert scale assign each response a point value from one to four since you only have four in in this particular point assigning uh, system or point value assigning to the responses one is always related to the lowest or the negative side okay while the highest four is always related to the positive okay so to interpret a four point likert scale assign a response point value from one to four based on the number of responses so again common values for these options will start with strongly disagree which is negative strongly disagree is negative and then you assign again as we mentioned earlier you assign negative at uh, the lowest point which is one point and the highest which is positive strongly agree at the highest value so that will always be the rule in assigning the value, not the other way around and never the other way around. Okay, I hope you remember that when you uh, create your Likert scale, the responses and the uh, assigned value for these responses. So the next one, create a table for your results, find the mode, number of times uh, something occurs, the 
of, of the data that you have collected and the average response, which is the mean. And then the next one, the mode will tell you the most common response since this refers to the frequency of the response to each statement while the mean will give you the overall average of the response. So these are the basic um, methods or process that you can interpret results from a four-point Likert scale. So I hope this was able to help you identify the pros, the cons of using Likert scale, examples of Likert scale that you can use and how you should interpret your Likert scale. So again, please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click that notification bell to alert you when a new video has been uploaded. If you have already subscribed, for those who are watching our video, please click the like button for this video. And on the sides of your screen, you're going to see recommended videos for writing or for helping you to write the different chapters of your research from chapters 1 to chapter 5, including tips, coaching uh, advices related to your defense. And then on the other side will be my icon wherein when you press that, you will be diverted to my uh, subscribe uh, button so you can automatically subscribe so again thank you very much everyone and god bless stay safe and see you on our next video bye